Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab Active 2 and today I will show you how to enable the power saving mode. To get started all you need to do is pull down your notification panel, expand it and locate the power mode which is right here and from here you can tap on it. This will give you this pop-up medium power saving mode. This is the default one that it will be enabled. So it also gives you two things that you can toggle on or off. So limit CPU speed and restrict background data. Now the background data will basically disable Wi-Fi and mobile data when the device is in sleep mode and sleep mode is considered when you basically just do this and not use it for about like five minutes, it goes into what's called sleep mode. And at that point, it will disconnect from Wi-Fi and mobile, preventing you from receiving any kind of updates that would be relying on internet connection. Now, when you wake it up again, it automatically reconnects, so you'll get everything that you're missing uh, synced up at that point. So if there is something that you don't want, uh, you can deselect it like so. Uh, otherwise, you can just keep it on if you don't mind it. And obviously, CPU uh, speed limit uh, will restrict it by uh, to 70% instead of the 100 that you'd normally get. So the device might work a little bit more sluggishly. And lastly, we have the brightness. We have minus 10%, 5%, uh, 5 or basically not, no change. So you can tap on apply from here. I will go through applying it. I believe it also turn on, turns on dark mode. Or it does not, apparently. So yeah, uh, as you can see right now, it's active. Now, additionally, you can also decrease the brightness yourself if you want to preserve more battery. Uh, uh, changing the brightness just by like from, for instance, max or like what it is right now to halfway will give you probably like two, three hours of additional battery life. So uh, it is setting that does actually have a quite significant impact on the battery life here. So anyway, uh, once you're done with this battery saver, you can find the toggle once more in your notification panel. So again, just simply pull it down, tap on it, and this will now just go straight to deactivating it. And there we go. Now the device is back to normal. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.